I want to break down weights versus cardio and explain the differences so you can finally understand which one is actually better for fat loss. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodi and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health, and your life. This video, I'm going to explain which is better for fat loss, weights or cardio, because I know there's a lot of confusion around this still. If you have a goal to lose weight, you really want to change that in your head. You want to start aiming for fat loss and not weight loss because they're different. Even if you actually need to lose weight, you want to make sure most of that weight is coming from fat mass and not from losing lean body mass like your muscle or just water and glycogen. That's how a lot of these quick fix diets work, right? They set you up to lose a lot of water, glycogen and muscle mass so you lose weight quicker, but in reality, it's not actually going to get you a better looking body because to get a tighter, leaner body, you need to lose fat and keep or even build muscle. So weights and cardio both have a different role to play in fat loss. Let's cover cardio first. So cardio really is just a tool to help increase your energy expenditure. So right now, say you're maintaining your body weight and you can't lose weight. That means that your calorie intake for each day is equal to your total daily energy expenditure and to lose weight you need to make sure your calorie intake is less than your total daily energy expenditure so this total daily energy expenditure that's made up of your basal metabolic rate you can't really change that your non-exercise activity thermogenesis or NEAT so that refers to any kind of activity you do kind of subconsciously so say you like scratch yourself or you you know flick your hair out of your face you move about throughout the day you stand up sit down that's all neat then there's also the thermic effect of food so this is the energy required to digest and absorb the food you eat and lastly the smallest part that makes up your total daily energy expenditure is exercise activity so this is things like cardio if you want to do cardio to increase your energy expenditure that is fine but at the end of the day, it only makes up 10% of your total daily energy expenditure. You're still going to have to make sure you are eating in a calorie deficit overall to lose weight. You don't actually need cardio for fat loss or weight loss if you don't like doing it. And yes, I know cardio has benefits for your health, but I'm not really focusing on health in this video. We're just breaking down fat loss. Now coming back to the start, cardio is a tool to increase your energy expenditure. The problem with cardio is it doesn't guarantee fat loss. It could help you lose weight, but it's not going to guarantee that that weight is coming from fat. If you just rely on cardio, it's likely that you are going to lose a combination of muscle and fat and therefore, if you lose weight, you're going to end up with just a smaller version of the body you have now. That is where weight training comes into play. Weight training is probably the best exercise you can do if you want to lose fat because it is going to help you make sure that when you're eating in a calorie deficit, the weight you lose is mostly body fat and not muscle. That is how you will end up with a leaner, tighter body, not by doing hours and hours of cardio. Now you might be wondering where HIT sits into this, so high intensity interval training. HIT is a form of cardio for the purpose of fat loss. So you consider it the same way as steady state cardio. It is a way to increase your energy expenditure. It is a way to have fun with your friends. It is also a stress on your body. So you want to use it smartly and not overuse it. At the end of the day, HIIT cardio or HIIT workouts, HIIT classes, they're not going to help you build new muscle. They might help you maintain any muscle that you currently have, but they're not really the best exercise you can do for fat loss. So to summarize and put it very simply, weight training is the best exercise for fat loss. Cardio and HIIT are really just a tool to help you increase your energy expenditure and they are not essential for fat loss at all. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. I put my email address in the description box. If you like this, please like it. If you would like to subscribe to see more, please do so. And if that's the case, I will see you in the next video.